first video, uh, apart from the media stuff that you've seen before, and we figured that this is our attempt at launching a, a YouTube channel that's going to be fun, uh, focusing on comic book content. Now, what we're focusing, the very first video that we're doing is on Venom, the movie, which we watched just last night. Now, Regina and I both watched it, uh, but she felt that I should be doing the video, so here it goes. Um, I, I saw some of the reviews online prior to watching the movie, and what they all basically showed was that um, Venom didn't get the greatest reviews, and I was wondering why, because it looked like a really cool movie if you watch the trailer. And then I saw this weird conspiracy theory coming out that Lady Gaga fans have been posting poor reviews of Venom on the basis that they want their, this new Lady Gaga slash Bradley Cooper movie to do really well, which doesn't make any sense whatsoever, because just because I read a bad review of, um, of Venom doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to go watch this Bradley Cooper, Lady Gaga, a Star is Born movie necessarily. But after watching the movie and, and, and sort of looking at the whole fact that there's all these really bad reviews, one can't come to any other conclusion but the fact that, guess what? It is probably true. This conspiracy theory is actually probably true because it was an excellent movie. Venom is actually a really cool movie. And I'll tell you a couple of things. So one of the biggest problems that people had with Venom as a movie is obviously it doesn't link back to Spider-Man. Now, there are two things that happened in the movie yesterday that sort of links back to Spider-Man. Now, if you're uh, a comic book fan and you've actually read uh, Spider-Man and how uh, Venom then basically the, the symbiote leaves Spider-Man and ends up uh, attaching itself to Eddie Brock and then turning Eddie Brock into Venom, uh, then you would probably have picked up the hint that Eddie used to work in New York and he had a bit of a hard time, right? So that was the first hint. There's this hint in the movie that he used to be or he has a history in New York. The second part, the only other link to Spider-Man is Spider-Man's creator, Stan Lee, who does a cameo in the movie. Spoiler alert, by the way. Um, but I guess it's not a spoiler if it's a Marvel movie because if it's a Marvel movie, Stan Lee is going to appear in it. So those are the only two links. The other issue that people have a serious problem with is the fact that the villain supposedly is uninspiring. You know, everyone's waiting for Loki, everyone's waiting for uh, Thanos, everyone's waiting for a villain on that level. But in this instance, that's not what we got. This guy is a bit of a wimp, he's a bit of a smart, genius type guy. But at the very same time, you know, he's a quiet villain that's smart, he thinks his way through it. And is an unlikable character, but at the very same time sort of appeals to the humanity of the people that he wants to use and abuse. And, and you'll get that by watching the movie. So I thought that he was actually an, a decent villain. I mean, he wasn't the greatest villain I've ever seen, but I think he was actually quite good. But apart from that, I mean, he was actually quite scary, uh, Venom. Uh, and the interaction between him and Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy is actually quite, uh, I mean, Tom Hardy is an amazing actor. And the way he portrays Eddie Brock and this conflict between Eddie Brock as well as Venom is just absolutely amazing. Uh, so overall, I'm not going to give it a rating. And I don't think that's what we should do at BB Comics is try to become movie critics. But I would recommend that you go out and watch it. So what we want you guys to do is have a look at this video. Of course, comment down, uh, down below. Um, spread it via social media. Tell us what you think. Tell us whether we should keep on doing this stuff. Because there's all kinds of ideas that we have. We have oodles and noodles of comics and we reading them and constantly going through them we want to do reviews on those there are movies that obviously come out we want to do reviews on those as well um and and yes even though bb comics is our comic book brand with andate molefe as well as uh, sergeant south africa and other titles to come the fact of the matter is we love comics as a whole and we feel that we should be doing content on comics so let us know what you think below and on our social media uh, pages Remember, it's hashtag BBComicsZA all the time, everywhere. 